Welcome back to the Math Revision Made Meticulous Day 3 Topic Integral and Integration by Substitution Revision as the name suggests means looking back over previously learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind. 5 questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series. The steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. Today, we are going to see integration by substitution. Integration by substitution is one of the technique or method for finding the integral by reducing them into standard forms. In this method, the given integral, integral f of x dx will be transformed into another form by changing the independent variable x to u or t or z whatever may be by selecting a suitable substitution and we make the substitution for the function whose derivative also occurs in the integrand. This is the technique. We have to identify the function whose derivative also occurs in the inside the integrand. For example, if you have integral log x by x into dx, here we are seeing that the derivative of log x is inside. Therefore, we have to take u is equal to log x. When you take this function, sin square x into cos x dx, the integrand, here the differentiation of sin x is also cos x and uh, differentiation of cos x is minus sin x. But the differentiation of sin x is directly available inside the integrand. Therefore, we have to take u is equal to sin x only. For we have to be very careful while you are selecting the function for which we are doing the substitution. Okay, here we are seeing here that the differentiation of e power x is available inside the integrand. Therefore, u should be taken as e power x. Then after that we are going to change everything inside the integral sign in terms of the new variable. Then we will integrate it. Then we will do the resubstitution. We make the substitution for the function whose derivative also occurs in the integrand. The integrand is changed in terms of the new variable as per the substitution. The formula is applied for simplification and the substitution done after applying the formula. This is very very important. For step number one, substitution. Step number two, changing the integrand in terms of the new variable. Then applying the formula as per the formula which we have seen earlier and don't forget to do resubstitution after applying the formula. Suppose if the given problem is given in terms of x, we have to, if you are converting in terms of t or u or z, you have to come back and then express the final answer in terms of the given variable. Now suppose you have integral, already we have seen this uh, substitution for u is equal to log x by x and du is equal to 1 by x dx. Whatever inside the integral sign, you have to convert it. For example, log x is there and dx by x is there. I have just shown it in different color log x to be replaced by u and dx by x to be replaced by du. For now, you are getting u square by 2 plus c. Therefore, you are doing the resubstitution. Understand the step? Sub step number 1, substitution. Changing everything inside the integral sign in terms of the new variable. Then doing the integration and then putting the resubstitution. The same thing already we have seen that this uh, in uh, example. Here u should be taken as sin x, du will become cos x dx. Now inside the integral sign you are seeing cos x dx to be replaced by du and sin square x to be replaced by u square. Now the formula is u cube by 3 and we are doing the resubstitution. Now the integration formula of some trigonometric functions can be obtained by means of substitution. For example, we have integral sin x as minus cos x, integral cos x as sin x. But now we are going to try to get the integral formula for the remaining four trigonometric functions. For example, tan x. Tan x is sin x by cos. And be careful here. All of you may tell me, sir, the differentiation of sin x is also inside. The differentiation of cos x is also inside. No. The differentiation of sin x is cos x dx, but it is not cos x dx available. It is only dx upon cos x is available inside the integral sign. Be careful. But when you take cos x, it's a derivative sin x dx. That is maybe it may be minus or maybe some having some constants. Minus sin x dx is sorry, sin x dx is available there. Now that minus sign can be adjusted afterwards. But be careful. 
therefore we have to take us cos x only du will become minus sin x dx but i have only sin x dx therefore it is minus du now i am totally ready to do the substitution for sin x dx i will replace it by minus d du and for cos x i will replace it by u now i will get minus log u for when i replace it now it will become minus log cos x plus c sometime this minus sign if you want to avoid it can be written as log of 1 upon cos x because log 1 is 0 minus log cos x by making use of property of log therefore integral tan x can be taken integral tan x can be taken as log secant x plus c for we have one more formula of integration of trigonometric function making use of this substitution process integral tan x is log secant x plus c similarly we can get for cot x also here also the same uh, thing ap applies that differentiation of cos x is minus sin x dx but it is not available inside the integral sign but the differentiation of sin x is available directly as cos x dx therefore we are doing the substitution now for cos x dx i am replacing it by du for sin x i am replacing it by u therefore it is log u therefore it is log sin x dx for we got one more formula integral cot x dx is log sin x plus c <coughs> similarly let us try to get the integral for secant x dx but here when you replace it by 1 by cos it is of no use to us it will not help us it will not serve the purpose for we are multiplying and dividing by secant x plus tan x now you are seeing that the differentiation of secant x plus tan x is in the numerator but i am taking it as u i am replacing it by du but now differentiation of secant is secant x tan x and differentiation of tan x is secant square from the two terms i can take secant x outside Or secant x into secant plus tan into dx. Now you are ready with everything now. Therefore, in the numerator, secant x into secant x plus tan x dx can be replaced by du, and secant x plus tan x can be taken by u. For you are once again getting log u. Therefore, the formula is log secant x plus tan x. Therefore, it is log secant x plus tan x is the formula for integral secant x. Now we have seen the formula for integral tan x. integral cot x and integral secant x the last one cosecant x when you write it as 1 by sin it is of uh, no use it will never serve the purpose but we are multiplying and dividing by cosecant plus cot i <coughs> put u is equal to cosecant plus cot when i find the du it is minus cosecant square x minus cosecant x cot x dx let me take minus sign outside and also cosecant x outside it will become cosecant x into cosecant x plus cot x into dx therefore now i can replace cosecant x into cosecant plus cot into dx by minus du and the cosecant x plus cot x as u therefore i get minus log u plus c therefore you can uh, remember this formula as minus log of cosecant x plus cot x plus c also suppose if you want to avoid that minus sign then it will be log of 1 upon cosecant x plus cot x If you want to avoid this also, we can multiply and divide by cosecant minus cot numerator and denominator. The denominator will become cosecant square minus cot square. It will become one. For you can remember the formula as log cosecant x minus cot x plus c. Therefore, by mas making use of this substitution process, we have derived the formula for integral tan, integral cot, integral secant, and integral cosecant. let us move on to the questions for today that is five questions question number 1 x square upon 2 plus 3x cube whole cube in some problem you can directly visualize the differentiation of which function is in the numerator for example the differentiation of x cube is 3x square but anyway if there is any constant of there is any minus sign that can be adjusted by doing division or something like that therefore i am taking u as Directly 2 plus 3x cube, or you can take uh, u is equal to x cube also. If you take 2 as x cube, then it will become 2 plus 3u like that. Anyway, now du is 9x square dx, but I am having only x square dx in the numerator. Therefore, I am finding it and keeping it ready. Therefore, x square dx should be replaced by du by 9, and the denominator should be replaced by u cube or t cube, whatever may be. 
now it is u power minus 3 all of you know u power minus 3 is u power minus 3 plus 1 by minus 3 plus 1 therefore the final answer is minus 1 by 18 into 1 upon u square therefore when you do the resubstitution it is minus 1 by 18 into 2 plus 3 x cube whole square plus c suppose if you are replacing only x cube is equal to t or z whatever may be you will end up with 1 upon 2 plus 3 t t the whole cube whole square or whatever may be there you should be very careful you have to divide by the coefficient of x all of, already we have discussed in the previous video well <coughs> now sometimes you may not get the differentiation of a particular function directly inside the integral sign for example here what is the differentiation of x cube it is 3 x square but it is given x power 5 therefore you have to write it as x cube into x square minus 1 whole power 1 by 3 into x square so that I can put x cube as z or whatever may be and I can do the substitution. But directly I am taking u as x cube minus 1 and du is equal to 3x square and x square into dx is 1 by 3 du. Therefore, when I am replace the total x cube minus 1 as uh, u, then I have x cube there in the integral sign therefore that will be u plus 1. Now there is no need to take u as x cube minus 1 directly you can take it as x cube as u and start the problem also there u minus 1 it will come automatically well therefore i am replacing everything inside the integral sign now u x cube is replaced by u plus 1 x cube minus 1 whole power 1 by 3 is replaced by u power 1 by 3 and du is uh, sorry x square dx is du by 3 now you got uh, by bringing that Well, by expanding the bracket, u into u power 1 by 3, it is u power 4 by 3 and 1 into u power 1 by 3 is u power 1 by 3 and I have taken the 1 by 3 outside. Now, you know what is the formula for u power 4 by 3? Integral of u power 4 by 3 is 4 by 3 plus 1 by 4 by 3 plus 1. u power 1 by 3 is u power 1 by 3 plus 1 by 1 by 3 plus 1 and uh, by bringing the constant adjusting the constant 3 by 7 into u power 7 by 3 plus 3 by 4 into u power 4 by 3 now u power 7 by 3 and uh, u power 4 by 3 we are bringing the 3 inside now we can do the resubstitution for in this problem we have seen that even though it is given as x power 5 we are writing that x power 5 as x cube into x square so that the substitution is allowed and we are able to convert it into a problem by means of substitution I will go to problem number 3. Here, uh, you know that uh, the differentiation of uh, x is 1 and differentiation of x square is x, but x square is not there. But whenever you see these types of problem where something is given inside the square root, you are not able to identify any substitution. You can try this by taking whatever inside the square root as u or u square is equal to x plus 2, whatever may be. Now, you find uh, the differentiation now du is equal to dx but now inside the integral sign you are having x plus 2 as u but what is x then then x will be u minus 2 x will be u minus 2 therefore we are doing the substitutions now for x i am replacing it by u minus 2 for root x plus 2 is root u and dx is d du for you are getting u power 3 by 2 minus 2 into u power 1 by 2 into du you know the formula for u power 3 by 2 it is u by 3 by 2 plus 1 by 3 by 2 plus 1 and u power 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 1 by 2 plus 1 therefore it is 2 by 5 into u power 5 by 2 minus 4 by 3 into u power 3 by 2 plus c now do the resubstitution by replacing u as x plus 2 now here in this problem there are so many problems like that you can see in any textbook where if a square root is there and you are not able to identify the substitution try by this may be you can call it as a trial and error by taking inside the square root that term as u and then continue let us go to problem number four these are the problem where exponential comes whenever exponential comes all of you know that this differentiation is itself therefore you have to identify whose differentiation is there in the numerator for example, in this problem, I am identifying that e power 2x differentiation is e power 2x into 2 
and the differentiation of e power minus 2x is e power minus 2x into minus 2 by making use of the chain rule which is nothing but which is there in the numerator therefore i am doing the resub I mean differentiation 2 into e power x e power 2x minus 2 into e power minus 2x into dx i am taking 2 outside it will become e power 2x minus e power minus 2x dx is du by 2 du upon 2 now let us go for substitution now for whatever the term in the numerator can be replaced by du by 2 the denominator is 1 by u therefore it is 1 by 2 into log u now you can do the resubstitution okay sometimes uh, you may get it directly sometimes you have to do some adjustments so that uh, whatever the term inside the integral sign should be converted into a integral in terms of the new variable let us move on to the problem number 5 integral sin cube x into cos power 4x dx here the differentiation of sin is uh, cos and the differentiation of cos is sin but now we have to verify whether which can be taken as u here I have done sin cube x as sin square into sin so that the differentiation of cos will be same. But now everything except that sin x dx should be converted in terms of cos. We know that sin square is 1 minus cos square. Because we are having the odd power of sin, we are writing it as sin square into sin. Suppose if the power of cos is odd, you write it as cos power a even into cos and then you write the problem. Anyway. Now, now we can go for the substitution now. U I am taking it as cos x. Du I am taking it as minus sin x dx. Minus du will be sin x dx. And uh, 1 minus cos square should be replaced by 1 minus u square. And cos power 4 is u power 4. And sin x dx is minus du. Therefore, you are getting u power 4 minus u power 6 into du. And u power 4 differentiation is u power 5 by 5. u power 6 differentiation is u power 7 by 7. Therefore, cos power 7x by 7 minus cos power 5 by 5 plus c. So, this is a problem where sin power is there, cos power is there. Sin power is odd and cos power is even. You can also try when cos power is odd and sin power is even in the same fashion. Good. Success is dependent on effort. All the best to every student. Thank you.